just really want a cute little Mary Jane. I feel like that is what my shoe collection is missing. If you are looking for something that is simple and is sexy and you know, it's gonna get what it's supposed to give, I would say check this little flip flop out. <laughs> in some part of the world. I think California is still Wednesday. Okay, I'm gonna try to have this video up on Wednesday, but if it's Thursday, it's Thursday. Just, just know that my, my new posting schedule is Wednesday, Fridays, and uh, Sundays. But sometimes maybe a little midnight situation going on. Anyways, today is supposed to be a thrift haul, y'all. I went thrifting. I didn't find nothing, okay? I was at the thrift store for a good 30, 35 minutes just going through the little racks. And I couldn't find nothing, but I did find one thing, but that's just it. And I was so happy I found that one thing, because I'm like, shit, I can't always to the Bronx for nothing. And I, and I went to the little grocery store. I like that little grocery store out there too, but yeah. Oh, also, before we get into this video, this very random video, because I don't even know what it's going to tramp, trample into, be sure to click the like button down below, as well as subscribe if you have been coming to my channel for some time and you haven't subscribed. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Anyway, so yeah, y'all, this is the only little thing that I found at the thrift store. Okay, I was so happy to have found this little top. It is 100% silky silk. As you guys can see, it is Fantasy by Morgan Taylor, baby. 100% silk, and it's in a size medium. Um, I wish it was in like a size extra small because it would literally be my favorite top for summertime. But I'm gonna see if I can take it to a tailor because as you guys can see on the side, it's kind of like bellowing out on the side. But I mean, I know I can finesse it. I know I can make it work, but I just really wish it was just more taut on the side. Speaking of underarm, y'all, I was just, look at what happened to my online ceramic shirt. I have no idea how this happened, but I don't know if y'all remember when I got this shirt from um, Essence and it's, yeah, by this brand, Online Ceramics, but I don't know how they all happened. But anyway, back to this little top. It feels amazing on the body, of course. I love that it's in this cream color, so it's gonna be super versatile. Um, yeah. I'm, Probably still gonna wear this a whole lot in the summertime, but yeah, if I can get a tailor, I'm definitely gonna try to do that. But yeah, this is the only thing that I found at the little thrift store, y'all. And I almost didn't get it because it was $20. I didn't even pay attention to the price because I'd be thinking like I'm at the thrift store, whatever, everything cheap. Girl, I got to the register and it was $20. But then luckily the yellow tag, because it was yellow tag, luckily um, yellow tags was 75% off. So I actually paid $5 for this top, which is an amazing deal for a silk little tank top like this. But yeah, I wasn't gonna pay 20 because our show was gonna be like, oh no. I had that like too quick. I'm like, what's the discount today, sis? And she was like, oh yeah, these cost. I'm like, okay, perfect. <laughs> Cause I was sure to get that shirt back up. So yeah, besides that little shirt, you guys, I also got a new fragrance. And it is Lover Dose, y'all, by Diesel. I talked about this in my last video when I was reviewing my Diesel jeans. And when I was at the register, they had this little baby at the register. And I smelled, you know, I smelled all the ones, but this one just stuck in my head. I sprayed it on my one of their little cards, put it in my little bag. No, I didn't, I'm lying. I sprayed it on myself, I think. And then, but anyway, I just kept smelling myself throughout the throughout that night. And I was like, oh my God, I need to go back and get this fragrance. Fast forward, y'all, two and a half weeks later, go through the little diesel store. They like, this is so out, honey. They didn't have any. I'm like, any, the manager went to the back and checked everything. She's like, no, the best I can do is order it for you. And then I'm like, you know what? I can do that myself. Tell me why. Y'all, I'm like at home and I'm like, let me go ahead and order the fragrance. I go to diesel.com and it's sold out on diesel. I was like, oh my God, heart drop. Cause I'm like, I really want this fragrance. So then I started, you know, doing a little people, people search on um, Google and I ended up finding it on Macy's.com and they got like 15% off, which was grand. So yeah, I finally got my fragrance and it came super fast too. I think it came in like literally two days. But yeah, I'm so, so happy to have this. I put it on today and it actually stayed all freaking day. I don't know if it's in oil or water. So yeah, this is actually a water-based fragrance, which is kind of odd. Cause literally y'all, I smelled it on me all day today. And that usually doesn't happen with like water-based. Usually oil-based fragrances will stay a little bit longer on the skin. But anyway, this will like, I 
just went, I don't know, it's such a hard thing to place your finger on. I'll insert the notes here, but definitely smell vanilla and maybe like floral. I would say if you like sweet florally scents, I would definitely say this is one to try. And one thing that I love about this is it's not super expensive. When I was at the diesel store, I was like, so surprised I'm expecting for the girl to say like at least 180, 200 dollars. It's like 60, like 60 dollars for this. So that is a really, really good deal for a cute little fragrance for the summertime. Also, get into the little heart-shaped little bottle. It's so cute. I took it out the box, and Connor is like, "How do you can? How are you gonna sit it down? Like, how are you gonna sit it down?" But yeah, you can just sit it down like this, and it's purple and pink. But yeah, I think that. If you like cutesy, florally, sweet scents, yes. If you don't like sweet scents, then you probably will hate this, <laughs> to be quite honest. And this is the little box that it comes in. Nothing like crazy. I'm not I'm not one to be like, I mean, it, I appreciate, you know, the effort and time that goes into like packaging or whatever, but literally you can send my stuff in a plastic bag in one little box, okay? I, I'm good without all the paper and hoopla. So yeah, the box is super simple. And yeah, this is my new little fragrance. Let me do a thumbnail. Anybody watch Be Lovely? <laughs> That's what she means. She be like, let me get my thumbnail in. Okay. But anyway, yes, that is all that your girl got <laughs> this go round. Um, I was on Essence last night though, okay, because I'm like, not finding a whole lot of stuff at the thrift store. Not gonna lie, it kind of discouraged me a little bit, and I'm just like okay well what can i invest in then but really i just need to go to another thrift store like i've kind of been going to the my unique in the bronx that's like my go-to place and i feel like now it's time to venture out to other thrift stores i was on essence yesterday and i was just you know just trying to see what your girl want for the little summer fan and i have a couple things on my wish list first starting off with these totem little sandals i don't know i just think that Totem makes really good basics. I've sold things from their brand. I've, I own things, well, yeah, two things from their brand. A pair of jeans and like a button up top. But anyways, one thing I can say about Totem is they make quality garments. Um, I've never tried their shoes, however, but I would expect no less. First off, I love a flip flop and I love a heel flip flop. I know flip flops is not for everybody, but I just think it is so, it's gonna be so freaking cute with just like little jean shorts and little slip dresses. Like when I wanna be a little bit more elevated, when I'm not wearing my freaking Margiela cutoffs, like I want to wear a shoe like this. So yeah, I think that if you are looking for something that is simple and is sexy and you know, it's gonna get with folks to give. I would say check this little flip flop out. I just really want a cute little Mary Jane. I feel like that is what my shoe collection is missing. I feel like Mary Jane's is just such a classic silhouette of a shoe. And it's super versatile. Like a Mary Jane can be dressed up or dressed down. It's a little quirky if you quirky. Mary Jane, little tabby toe here, y'all. I just, I feel like I need her. I don't even know if this is called a Mary Jane. They don't call it, they call it the black tabby ballerina flat but i think it's mary jane because they go across you know the the front of your ankle and i don't know i just feel like this shoe is really speaking to me and my bald head i just feel like it'll be such a freaking vibe especially with little white socks and maybe some little denim situation like i can't see this for the summertime but they are priced at 940 and i just can't justify that price for a shoe that i'll only wear three to four times three to four months out of the year like I feel like if it was a boot to me, I can see myself investing in something like that. And I would say too, if it come, if you guys have trouble with finding out what you should invest in and what you shouldn't, I would just boil it all down to how often will you wear this item? You know what I'm saying? Because if you're gonna spend a thousand dollars on a shoe that you're only gonna be able to wear three times, three months out of the year, because you live in like New York or anywhere else on the East Coast, like I don't know, that doesn't really make sense to me. Unless you get it like that, then period but if you in the same situation with as me and you gotta be a little bit more calculated that's how i do it okay i'm just like hold on sandals i have like a little threshold with sandals like for me 500 dollars is probably the most that i'll spend on a sandal so i'm really hoping that this little shoe go down at least 50 percent off or at least 30 something because i can't do the 940 baby <laughs> it's, it's the 940 for me y'all and then y'all for these little sandals right here the first time i've seen these was actually on marty.com and 
Can y'all not see me in my little bald head and some little white dress and this little shoe? Can y'all not see the vision? I just like this shoe is everything. But again, y'all, this one is priced at $9.20. And I feel like this one is even more unjustifiable than the Margiela one because this one is in this like cow pony hair, as you guys can see. And I love the color. I love the silhouette. I feel like the, the silhouette is classic. I don't even mind the like gold buckles because it's like that light gold that can kind of, you know, look like it's silver a little bit. But anyway, yeah, her, she nat 20, she nat 20. And beyond it being Marty, baby, I already know that cow hair in New York City is gonna be filthy as heck. So I'm just like, again, I cannot justify the nat 20 for this little shoe. But if I can get this shoe for half off, it's gotta be half off, I'm gonna cop her. Cause I'm just like, this is so freaking cute. And then y'all, I haven't talked about our legacy on my channel in a little minute, but I have been eyeing these our legacy mules for over a year now, I wanna say. And I haven't pulled the trigger on them, mainly because I don't know what size I am. I don't even wanna think about it. Also, cause I'm a little iffy on it. I like it, but I'm just like, I never worn a style shoe like this and I just don't know the degree as to how much I'll wear it. But I do feel like this little mule, if you in, you're into like cowboy boots or that whole like Western style, this mule could work for you in your aesthetic because you probably got clothes in your wardrobe already that'll match it. But me and my little basic wardrobe don't know what to do with her for real. Y'all know I have my Art Legacy Derbies, which I actually have to take to a freaking cobbler because I don't know if it's because I wore them in salt or it has something to do with the way the shoes are made. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I have worn my other shoes in salt and they have not really broken down like my derbies have. I wish I had them here with them at my work. But yeah, y'all, basically the front of my little derbies is like white now. Like, I don't know, like it won't come off with like a little cloth or anything. Like it's pretty beat up and I know it's due to the ice or the, what do you call it? The salt on the ground from the snow or whatever. So I'm gonna have to take them to a cobbler or if you guys have ever experienced that with the shoe, please let me know how you took care of salt on your shoe down in the comments. Cause I looked it up online and it said you salt and walk salt. I mean, you know, it said you soap and water and like a cloth and I did that and it's still on my shoe. So that's a little frustrating. I don't even like to look at them. That's why I leave them at work. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna take them to a cobbler. But anyway, I say that to say, I, and that's another reason why I'm a little iffy on this little meal situation. But I do like that little meal. And it won't be no salt on the ground in the summertime anyway, so. Hmm. Last but not least, y'all, I had this little Balenciaga, little black thong. And she $180. I know it's Balenciaga, but still, it's just a one little thong. I wish it was like a three pack, because I feel like that would be more justifiable. But your girl gonna be in Europe, okay, this summer. And I'm just like, I need little things like this that don't make sense, but it's cute as hell. I need shit like this. So I, I'm i really thinking about this one. I mean, this one, I feel like I can find another song, but I just want my little Balenciaga. I mean, it's only had that though, Balenciaga. I'm trying to get all types of vibes, okay, period. So I'm, I'm really gonna think on her. Hopefully it comes down, down, down to at least $50. I mean, that's a real far shot dream. But I like this little Balenciaga thong. I know it's probably like a thick little cotton. But at the end of the day, y'all already know what I'm gonna say. You just paying for that Balenciaga little label. And me knowing that, it's just hard for me to pay $180, you know, period. Also, I can't afford $180 underwear, but. Yeah. They do got the little bra to match. I don't want the bra. I just want the underwear, cause I don't even wear bras. So yeah, it just really makes sense for me to get the thong. Okay, y'all. So that is all that I have this go around. I hope you guys enjoyed this very random wish list haul perfume smelling video. If you did, please smash the little like button. And I will actually see you guys on Friday, hopefully a little bit earlier than midnight. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.